Hello students! Today we'll talk about the three types of convergent plate boundaries. The learning objectives for these lessons are explain the geological processes that occur along the different types of convergent plate boundaries. Identify the geological features or landforms formed by each type of convergent plate boundary. And discuss the geological events associated with convergent plate boundaries. To start this lesson, we differentiate geological features from geological events. When we say geological features, we refer to these as the landforms that are created by plate boundaries. Geological features are physical structures or formations on the Earth's surface or within its crust that have developed over a long period of time due to various geological processes. Some examples of geological features are volcanoes, trenches, valleys, ridges, and mountains. While geological events are occurrences or activities that happen relatively quickly from seconds to years and involve dynamic processes that often result in immediate or rapid changes to the Earth's surface or subsurface. Example of which are earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. Convergent plate boundaries occur where two tectonic plates move towards each other and collide. This collision can result in various geological phenomena depending on the types of plates involved, for example, oceanic, continental, or a combination of continental and oceanic, and of course, their relative densities. We all know that oceanic plates are denser than continental plates. There are three types of convergent plate boundaries, each associated with distinct geological features and events. The first convergent plate boundary is oceanic to continental convergence. Oceanic to continental convergence occurs when an oceanic plate collides with a continental plate. In this convergence, the denser oceanic plates subducts beneath the less dense continental plate, so that a subduction zone is being created. The leading edge of the oceanic plate that subducts into the mantle melted and formed magma, which rises to the surface forming volcanic arcs on the continental plate. This leads to the creation of mountain ranges with active volcanoes. Examples of oceanic to continental convergence is the Andes mountain range in the South America, where the Nazca plate is abducting beneath the South American plate, and the Cascades in the North America, where the Juan de Fuca plate is abducting beneath the North American plate. At the point where the oceanic plate begins to descend, a deep oceanic trench is formed. This trench marks the boundary between the converging continental and oceanic plates. The Peru-Chile trench off the west coast of South America is formed by the oceanic crust of the Nazca plate, subducting beneath the continental crust of the South American plate. Ryukyu trench stretching out from the southern Japan is formed as the oceanic crust in the Philippine plate subducts beneath the continental crust of the Eurasian plate. The interaction between the colliding plates generates significant seismic activity, leading to frequent and powerful earthquakes. The enormous pressure and friction at the subduction zone can lead to the sudden release of energy in the form of megatrust earthquakes. During a megatrust earthquake, the seafloor can be abruptly displaced vertically. This displacement is often on a large scale, causing significant volume of water to be moved. The sudden vertical movement of the seafloor displaces the overlying water column, creating waves that propagate across the ocean. These waves, known as tsunamis, travel at high speeds across deep ocean waters. As they approach shallower coastal areas, they slow down, increase in height, and can cause devastating impacts when they reach land. The second type of convergent plate boundary occurs between two oceanic plates. When two oceanic plates converge, the older, denser oceanic plate subducts beneath the younger, less dense oceanic plate into the mantle. This process is called subduction. This creates a subduction zone where the subducting oceanic plate melts due to the extreme heat in the mantle. The subduction zone is marked by the formation of an oceanic trench, which is a deep underwater trench at the point where denser oceanic plate start to descend beneath the younger oceanic plate. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the world's oceans, is formed by this type of convergent plate boundary. The Pacific plate is being subducted beneath the smaller Mariana plate. The point where the Pacific plates start to bend and sink into the mantle forms a deep, narrow trench. 
This trench is the Mariana Trench. As the subducting plate sinks deeper, it encounters higher temperatures and pressures, causing the release of water and other volatiles from the subducting plate. These volatiles lower the melting point of the overlying mantle, leading to the formation of magma. The magma rises to the surface and can lead to the formation of a chain of volcanic islands, known as volcanic island arcs, or simply island arcs. Examples include the Aleutian Islands in Alaska and the Mariana Islands in the Pacific Ocean. The Japanese archipelago and the Philippine archipelago are also examples of island arcs and are created by oceanic to oceanic convergence. This process of subduction is associated with intense seismic activity. Earthquakes occur as the plate interact with each other, usually happening in the subduction zone. This can range from shallow to very deep quakes. In addition, tsunamis can also be generated when two oceanic plates collide. The last example of convergent plate boundary is a collision between two continental plates. When two continental plates collide, neither plate is subducted due to their similar densities. So, there is no subduction zone created. Instead, a collision zone is formed when two continental plates converge. Both continental plates are buoyant, so neither subduct easily leading to intense pressure and compression. Because of this intense pressure and compression, the plates crumpled and folded, leading to the uplift of large mountain ranges. The crust becomes thicker as the layers are folded and faulted, that resulted to the formation of a large mountain ranges through tectonic compression. The Himalayas is formed due to the collision of the Indian and Eurasian tectonic plates, which began around 50 million years ago and continues today causing the Earth's crust to uplift and fold creating the mountain range. Volcanic arcs and island arcs are not formed in this type of convergence because there is no subduction zone created. The collision of the plates generates significant seismic activity resulting in earthquakes. Tsunamis cannot be generated in this type of convergent boundary. We summarize the different geological processes, features, and events for this type of plate boundary. Processes Subduction, key process in oceanic to continental and oceanic to oceanic convergence. Volcanism, significant in oceanic to continental and oceanic to oceanic convergence. Crustal deformation, important in continental to continental convergence. Landforms or features form in oceanic to continental convergence. Deep ocean trenches, volcanic arcs. Oceanic to oceanic convergence, deep ocean trenches and island arcs. Continental to continental convergence, high mountain ranges. Events. Earthquakes, common in all types of convergent boundaries. Tsunamis, may occur in oceanic to continental and oceanic to oceanic convergence. Volcanic eruptions, common in oceanic to continental and oceanic to oceanic convergence. Mountain building, prominent in continental to continental convergence. To assess your learning for today's lessons, Please answer the questions. What are the three types of convergent plate boundaries? What major landform is created at an oceanic to continental convergent boundary? What types of geological event is common at all types of convergent plate boundaries? Name an example of mountain range formed by a continental to continental convergence. What forms at an oceanic to oceanic convergent boundary? What causes volcanic eruptions at oceanic to continental convergent boundaries? Which convergent boundary is associated with the formation of the Andes mountain range? What deep underwater feature is commonly associated with subduction zones? How do mountain ranges form at continental to continental convergent boundaries? What is an example of an island arc formed by oceanic to oceanic convergence? Hope you have learned a lot in this lesson. See you next time. Goodbye for now. Thank you.